This video describes the main features of the GSWAT application. GSWAT is a web application that allows the calibration of SWAT hydrological models over the grid, in a flexible and interactive manner. The users can visualize the calibration results directly in GSWAT, or they can export them to external applications, such as Bashit. The GSWAT application is one of the main software components of the Envira Grids portal. The GSWAT services make part of the geospatial and grid services layer of the portal. This section describes the functional levels of GSWAT. The graphical user interface of GSWAT is built in Adobe Flex. The services layer exposes the functionality as web services. The computational and storage resources are provided by the grid infrastructure. The services can be used by other external applications, such as Bashit or Eagle. The SWAT hydrological model calibration steps are the following. Import and manage SWAT models calibrations. Pre-process the data. Run the iterations on the grid infrastructure. Post-process the calibration results. Validate the output data. Visualize the output results. This section describes the steps to create a new calibration project. To create a new calibration project in GSWAT the user must specify the name and the description of the project. After that, he must select the SWAT hydrological model to upload. After the upload is completed, the GSWAT system creates a specific directory structure, needed for calibration, archives it and stores the archive on the storage element. At any time, the user has the possibility to modify the information related with any of his projects. This section highlights the execution of the calibration processes. The user can modify the input parameters for the calibration process in any of the input files. The SWOT simulations are executed on the grid. The execution time depends on the SWOT hydrological model used to calibrate, and the free resources from the grid infrastructure. The results visualization and analysis is covered within this section. The user can visualize all the output results as charts or plain text. After a successful execution, the user can save the current iteration. Using the iteration's history, he has access to all saved iterations.